Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, Brady here from the Brady Round channel. Welcome to another video. Today's video, uh, we will be in a new game. It's called the Firefighting Simulator, The Squad. Uh, this is a, this is a um, game I had on my wish list for quite a while now. Ever since they released the uh, initial, like, I guess, look, first look at the truck. Um, but now the game is finally released. I believe it is in early access, I believe. Um, and we're going to take a look at it. Uh, it is a single player slash co-op. No sandbox as of yet. Uh, firefighting simulator game. Uh, I've heard some good. I've heard some bad. Uh, so we're going to take a look today. And uh, we'll get right into it. Alrighty. Dispatch to unit one. The fire has spread to the roof of the house as well as an adjoining room. Backdraft potential in the area. Use extreme caution. A secondary unit is on site providing water coverage for the burning roof. Evacuation status of the house is still unknown. Alrighty. Looks like we're in the introduction here. Responding to a three to a the fire. It's a very, very nice game. Of course, it's on the so. We'll see if there's going to be optimization issues as of now, but it looks very nice. There might be optimization issues. I did put everything high. It looks like we can need the FPS, so who knows? That's good, pretty good for the engine. Because every game seems to be terribly optimized. Alright, look at that fire. Very cinematic. <laughs> Alrighty. Third person. I mean, you get to the bedroom. Get that person out of there! Alrighty. Take this Pelican. Yes, sir. Use right, a breach and kill Can you walk? Hey, I think you have to carry me. <laughs> it broke carry, my leg uh, or something. Dude, I'm not super slow with this guy. I heard this loud noise. I fell, and then I woke up on the floor. After that, well, there was smoke everywhere. Very nice game so far. I love the textures and Thanks. We'll take it from here. You can get back to putting out fires and thanks for getting me out of here. Right, grab this. Alright. Go ahead and use them. I think the fire indicators are on or whatever. I wanna do a slow pressure. So, I have played some fire games in the past. I played a game called Into the Flames for a little bit. I mean, I didn't like it too much. I'm just going to wait. Well, I believe I still have it, I think. I don't think I refunded it. I might have I refunded it, honestly. But, um, I kind of liked it. I mean, it was okay. Uh, it's an early development, so I'm just going to wait until gets further into development and uh, we'll see what what has in store for that game when once it's further in development um, but there's that game and then there is flash and lights which obviously has you know a firefighter job I mean it has of course uh, police EMS that game probably has to be the best game out there right now simulator wise uh, I can't I don't I haven't heard of them. They're apparently they're working on a new map right now. Uh, it's in the works. Like first look, you can go load in on the beta. You can load into the new map and look at it. There's no missions or anything, but you can go see what it's about. So I mean, it's not that. I mean, that, it's a good game of Fashion Lines, but I feel like if they ever add like a civilian to it, kind of more like GTA 5 roleplay. I think that will dominate the market uh, because it not only does it give, and especially if they add the workshop, that's what I always say about games like that, 
onset should have done oh, what Gary's mod did. The whole point of Gary Mod's Gary's mod success is the workshop. The base Gary's mod is I mean oh shit the fire yeah, on the side. The base Gary's mod is I mean it's not it's not, you know bad, it's just not a lot of content. But with the workshop, oh my god, there's plenty of things to do. Especially with the workshop and the servers and stuff like that. On set, it's like it's so it's such a process. They try to make it like Aries Mod, but it's it's such a longer process because of no workshop. I think that's why it's not had nearly as much success that other games had. And I feel like if uh, Flash and Lights was to do that, they would have really good success as well. All right, we got the garage. Alright, that looks like it's gonna be the intro. Still walk. <laughs> that's gonna be the intro. Introduction. But yeah, games like this. Um, this is I if if this game goes sandbox, it'll be amazing. Uh, because of graphics and how big the map is. Congratulations, you have completed your first mission. You are on your way to. You are now on the interactive city map. I. CM. Here you can select your next mission. The next mission is already available. To select with a growing experience, you will be you will be unlocked more. Or you will unlock more. Uh, before responding to your next emergency, you should take a sh you should sharpen your skills. No better place to do it than a training facility. You can always visit by selecting ICM. Do you want to train? Uh, we'll do this later. We'll we'll, we'll just do our first mission. Uh, let's see. We'll just we'll just do our first mission. Yeah. So there's this one. There's this one. We did this one. The blue is what have we already done? There's a home crafting. All right, we'll do this. So you can join an online session. We can start. We'll we'll do it by ourselves first. And uh, uh, we'll start a mission. Is we have a specific training. I recommend you follow my training center. Uh, well, we'll fucking do the training. Sure. Sure. Do it real quick. Let's see what that's about. Establishing a This hose. training exercise will familiarize you with setting up attack hoses to fight fires and show you how to connect a fire truck to a hydrant water supply. First, we'll establish a water supply line. This ensures you never run out of water when fighting fires. Now, walk over to the indicated compartment on the truck and grab a supply hose. The supply hose is the yellow one. Okay, now, look directly at the connector on the truck. You'll notice that you first need to remove the cap from the connector. So go ahead and remove the cap. Nice job. Walk over to the indicated fire hydrant. Good. Just like the connector on the truck. Walk over to the rear of the truck and grab a supply line. I gotta pick an extra shit. Head over to the indicated connector on the other side of the truck and connect this. Just like before, grab the coupler on the ground and walk over to the indicated fire hydrant and Now, go to the... As for the supply line, you'll need to... Alright, 
Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. It uh, seems like this game is just pretty self-explanatory. Alright, we'll do our first mission here. It's gonna be in Vic Victoria Springs. And, uh, we'll do it. Single player. Yeah, we'll do single player. Yeah. And, uh, we have Jack, Tom, Bill, and me. Very basic, um, uh, White, <laughs> white American names. <laughs> so, uh, uh, from what I've heard, this game is set on the West Coast, United States. So, California, basically. So, literally everything in the West Coast is set. So, hence why there's, it's kind of hilly. So, I'm going to say it nice looking. Okay. So there's no control in the siren. It's on its own. Uh, very nice model though. Very nice. And it seems like the kind of physics slash the way of driving is already much better than normal games. Like in Flash and Lights you can get up to a hundred on the fire truck pretty quick. in the building still. It's unknown that anyone who's in the building is evacuated, so. It's a long ass drive. This is, I mean, it's a game, but it's weird that basically like people from another, or a fire station from another district are by. That's over. 2,500 meters is quite a long drive for a fire truck to be responding. I think in such a big city like this, it would be closer. Dispatch to you, one evacuation status of the house is I guess I'm just like a fourth alarm. I need more units. That makes sense. bad for how long we had to drive. Copy that. I'll do a 360 check. 
Alright, so we gotta do a 360 Doing check the 360 here. Check. Oh, I don't know. Front door's locked. Do. On the 360 check, there are fires in the front room. On the 360 check, there's a locked door at the rear of the house. Come in. I found a survivor. Okay, so there is a survivor. So we're gonna need our. Okay, boss. 360 check complete. The attack we're... line is ready to go, boss. I don't really need. Oh, uh, no, we don't need a circle saw. We need the. Uh... Yeah, the axe or something to get into the building here. Fly line, ready to go, boss. We're gonna go get that person. Yes, Commander. Oh, I didn't mean to order someone over here. Uh, on the 360 check, we've yeah. got a victim in the rear bedroom. Alright, got someone in here. Alright, we're gonna incapacitate a person here. Try him out. I lied, I want you in the front here. I want you guys on the tech line. Yes, command. I'm on. Okay, so they're gonna take him. We can just do that. So that guy I'm gonna breach this. I know we're pretty extreme the fire here, but we're we want easy access for our guys here. Up in there. Uh, I have no eyes on any victim in there. No eyes. I think that's half electricity here. Let's see, where's the fuse box? I found the fuse box here. the fuse box here. Fuck. Yeah. Hmm. Is it inside? Just to hear it, but I don't see the fuse box, folks. Okay. Come on, you guys, get in the crowd, let's set up a tunnel line for these guys real quick. Yes, I do this shit. Connect this. We're gonna... Yes, sir. Let's get that fire out. Yeah. Yeah, let's get that fire out. I've got okay. your back, boss. Alright, let's send everyone in here. Here we go. Here's the. That's such a weird fuse box to have inside. I don't think I've used the electricity fuse box inside the. Oh shit! No, 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 no! You, you stay in there. Uh, three. Three. You are going to get an uh, attack line as well. Thank you. 
So I have one for myself here. Can we connect? A couple. And hopefully. Dude, I've already. Okay. I literally set one up for you, but okay. Well, now we just have like a run. Alright, we're gonna do it from the outside in. We're gonna really help these guys push. Oh, I don't want you to break it. I forgot that I didn't break it. That's my fault. No, don't run into fire, you stupid fuck. Dude, get get a fucking hose. Let's go out there. Let's go out there. I'll get his fucking attack line, I guess. Alright, so we're all on the hose here. Hopefully we get this shit out. It's been seven minutes, holy shit. That shit building should be already here. Right. Y'all. I just want to just cut this spread in here. Alright, I should push here. So it doesn't spread back. Oh, on over the top of us. Yes. A lot of effects. Alright, we're nearly out after many FPS drops. Engine just, just never optimized correctly at all. Alright. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. So we got all of that out. We're gonna be deeper for here. Look at all of our hoses. <laughs> it took us like eight minutes to get that out. Surprising that house this whole part didn't freaking collapse but you know sure alrighty so that mission not a bad game not a bad start not a bad game uh, we might do some more depending on how this video does and uh, you know the timing but uh not a bad game at all I uh, will play some more some other time but uh, that was our first look at uh, firefighting simulator the squad and that won't be our last time playing we'll play for sure some other time again hope you guys did enjoy that video if, if you did hit that like button down below subscribe and turn it hit that bell turn notifications on so you know when the next video is out uh, that call of duty campaign videos will be, keep on coming out as until Sunday uh, November 22nd at 12 p.m. that will be the last episode and the ending of the campaign but if you guys enjoyed this video i'll talk to you guys next time take it easy